All you're gonna need is some magazines. You're gonna need a piece of cardboard or just a heavy paper. If you don't have heavy paper, that's fine. You can try this with just regular paper as well. All right, and you're gonna need glue and scissors. All right, so here we go. Okay, so today our mosaic will hopefully end up looking something like this. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose what you want to draw. I am not an artist, so I'm going to pick a simple pattern, like a heart. If you can draw animals, you could always do a outline of an animal and then fill it in with color. So here is my heart. Not exactly even. If I wanted to add different patterns in my heart, I could, but I could divide it up into different sections. Now, the next thing I can do is I'm going to decide which colors I'm gonna use. And to do that, I'm gonna look at the magazines that I have available. They have bunches of different colors. So I'm going to do part of mine using there's lots of yellow so let's go with yellow so you can either cut tiny squares or rip out tiny squares or pieces and I so remember as you're choosing your colors it doesn't have to be solid colors so here I have solid blues but I could also choose something that has mostly blue in it but it doesn't have to be the exact same color blue because it just kind of gives it a very interesting look. Or maybe there's just a little bitty piece of blue, like this bird right here. Got a little blue. I can rip that little bitty blue, or maybe that goes with the purple better. You can decide what colors you want to put in what piles. Just match them up so you have lots of color. All right, so once you have, or you think you have, enough of each color, you can start gluing toward on your paper. Now, as you can see, if you cut them, they have a much cleaner edge than if you rip them. But it depends on the look you wanna go for, you can do a mix. All right, so if you have glue sticks, glue sticks work great for this. If you don't, that's okay. You can use a reg regular glue, and then I would just spread a very thin layer. Now, if you have thick paper, it's going to work a little, it's going to get less um, flimsy. So I'm just going to spread a thin layer. Then I'm going to pick the color that I've decided that's going to go in that section. And I'm going to start gluing them down. Just like so. And I will do the same for each of my other sections. So as you finish up, just make sure that your pieces are as close together as you can, and it's okay if they overlap a little bit too. Then you're not, that way you don't see as much of the white. And as long as your colors are close, you're good. I typically like to start and do the outside edges first and then work my way in. Just like Finished product. Finished product. Good. All right, so you can pick any pattern you want and then you can add to it. All right, have fun. Mm -hmm. 